what's going on? Kaya Chan back again for another video and today I'm here to show you guys my latest pickups. It's been a while since I've bought any anime or manga and that's mainly because I really haven't had the money to do so. A couple days ago I got a little antsy on my day off and I just wanted to get out of the house for a while and do something else and I didn't have enough battery power in my phone to play Pokemon Go for hours so I was like you know what let me just go to the mall and see what's new in manga because I haven't really gone in a while and I was interested in reading something new so that's what I did. I decided to go to Barnes & Noble, got a couple of things and I'm going to show you guys those pickups right now so let's get started. So first up I got the Naruto novel Sakura story and this novel takes place after the series ended and we're basically dealing with what Sakura is doing after the fourth great ninja war. Um, so the first thing that we get into is her new venture with the Konoha Hospital where she's developed this children's therapy center. Which I think is an awesome idea because after all the other ninja wars, no one really focused on the children's mental health. I mean they took care of them and everything but it wasn't enough to really get down to the root cause of all the problems and help them get back to a normal existence. So it's great that Sakura decided to really look after the kids and stop that cycle from continuing all over again. In addition to those things happening, there's this new band of rogue ninja that are targeting key members of mainly the Leaf at this point. And they're trying to figure out who's responsible for it and the fingers are starting to point in Sasuke's direction and Sakura has to go and clear Sasuke's name. That's basically what this novel is about and I'm really looking forward to continuing it. I've only read the first chapter, I'm just getting into the second chapter now and so far it's really good. So if you are a fan of Naruto and you want some more Naruto stories, definitely get this novel. Next up, we have Everyone's Getting Married Volume 2. I am really enjoying this story so far. It really relates to my age group. Um, you have this woman right here. I don't know if you can see her. She really just wants to be a homemaker. She wants to get married, have kids, and all that fun stuff. And the person that she falls in love with, Nanami, would rather drop dead than get married. And I kind of relate to that because I'm kind of the same way. I'm all about my work right now and I have no interest in getting married. It just, it's just not on my radar whatsoever. So I really relate to his character and it's really just great watching their, rom their romantic exploits kind of take off. So I'm really looking forward to checking out more. I've read this volume. I really enjoyed it and I'm definitely looking forward to volume 3. So if you guys haven't checked it out and you're looking for a, another romance story, definitely check this out. Next up, we have a new series. Haven't read it, don't really know much about it, but I'm looking forward to it. It looks kind of good. Um, it's Blood Sea Demonic Moonlight, volume 1. Looks really cool. It's up right up my alley. It has to do with samurai. It has to do with military stuff. Kind of supernatural, so that's definitely something I really enjoy, so I'm looking forward to checking this out. I'll let you guys know what I think of it when I finish this volume. Next up, we have the Wolf- That Wolf Boy is Mine, Volume 1. Really, really love this. This is super cute. If you are a fan of Fruits Basket, you're definitely going to enjoy this one. It definitely has a similar vibe to it. It's not exactly the same story, but it's kind of similar where you have this normal girl who finds out this secret about this other group and it takes off from there and, and I'm really and I'm really liking it. It's really cute. Um, you have this poor girl. What's her name again? Um Yeah. Kamugi, I think that's, that's her name. Um and she kind of did a little mistake in her last high school and she wanted to start over and now she's kind of making a similar mistake in this one but it's not really her fault and you're just you know seeing how all these relationships kind of play out and what happens because of the difference of these boys um, it's just super cute the guys are god gorgeous Gorgeous. 
gorgeous. They're gorgeous guys. They really are. I don't know if I can show you a picture of all of them without... Okay, here we go. Here they are. Here's all the guys. That's pretty much all of them. Freaking hot. Freaking hot guys. So, it's a really cute story. Uh, definitely guys, you should check this one out if you love Fruits Basket and you like the whole story of Fruits Basket. This one's really awesome. I've wanted to get into this one for a while. I kind of wavered a bit. I was still obsessed with Naruto and I'm like, I don't know. But this one is really good and I'm really enjoying it. I'm really hooked on it right now and it's called Black Clover. I got volumes one and two. Black Clover gets kind of a bad rap for really just taking ideas from different series and putting it together. It has a very reminiscent start to the Naruto series where you have our main character, uh, Asta. I think that's his name. He's declaring that he's going to be the Wizard King, just like Naruto declared that he was going to be Hokage. So you have that. Then you have his um, best friend. What's his name again? What is his name again? Oh, Jesus. Don't remember his name. Um. I think it's you. I want to say it's you. Something. Oh, you know. Close. <laughs> Then you have Yuno, who's very much like Sasuke. He's a prodigy. He has the, you know, kind of this attitude about him. And he's his main rival. So there's that. Then there's the whole kind of guild situation going on, like in Fairy Tale, where you have all these major wizard leaders, and they're all in charge of their own groups, and then you get to go into them. So that kind of has a Harry Potter kind of feel to it. You know, it has a lot of different things, elements from different series, and a lot of people are kind of like, that's totally ripping it off. But you know what? I really like it. Um, I read the first volume, really enjoyed it, and I was just so into it that I had to get volume two, and that's what I did today, so I picked up volume two. So I'm really looking forward to seeing where this story goes, and uh, if you guys like Fairy Tale, if you like Naruto, if you like any of those big series, I would give Black Clover a chance. It's really good. And the last thing I got is Doubt, Volume 1. Um, basically, from what I understand, there's this new game that's come out, and it's a really big hit. And basically, this group gets stuck into the world, into the world of the game. And they have to find who the bad person is amongst them, something like that. And it sounds really interesting, it's pretty gruesome looking, but I'm looking forward to checking it out. It sounds pretty good. So, that is everything that I picked up in my latest haul. Let me know what you think the most awesome thing that I picked up was in the comment section below. If you've read any of these series, I would look forward to talking to you about them also in the comments, or you can message me on all my other social networking sites. And that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Later!